Hi, I just want to talk you through all the different types of pages. And now don't worry if you don't get this 100% right now, you'll learn it better over time, but this will give you a general overview. overview. So um, everything that you're going to see here is what's called a, is, is what uh, we're referring to when we talk about sales funnels. Okay, so this is effectively a sales funnel. Um, uh, Let's change that color now already. Um, so presumably everybody knows what a sales page is. Um, sales page you go to and it's got some stuff on it. It's got bit more information about the product. It's got a bunch of points, maybe bullet points, a you know, bunch of things. And then eventually it culminates in what's called a call to action. And um, that call to action, let's see, no, I don't want to clear the page. That would be counterproductive. Um, a CTA, a call to action. Okay. okay, I haven't used this before, but that's that's the way it's going to be. Okay. <laughs> um, I have no idea how to move that sideways, but uh, maybe I'll work it out. And maybe I won't. Okay, so this whole thing, sales funnel. Yep, you've got that much. This is a sales page and the sales page culminates in a call to action. And all that is, is at the end you say, all right, could everybody please move next door? Everybody, could you please click that button? Okay, if you're going to buy, you have to buy now and you have to press that button and that is going to lead them to Oops. <laughs> the checkout. And the checkout is where they're going to contribute their dollars. Or, as I say, it doesn't all have to be about sales. It can be about activism. You could be, that call to action could be about getting them to sign up. It could be about getting them to volunteer for the cat shelter. It could be anything. Basically, the call to action, without the call to action, people have experienced it, and then they kind of just wander off, and then they go about their everyday lives, and they haven't actually done anything. So a documentary requires a call to action at the end. A sales page requires a call to action at the end. A business meeting requires a call to action at the end, and even a negotiation between two friends or two lovers or something that some people who are quarreling they at the end of it they need a call to action so from now on when this happens between us can we agree to always blah 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 that's a call to action so every aspect of your life is going to require a call to action to get anywhere productive so it's not just about sales but it certainly is essential when it comes to sales but if you just decide that you're going to send traffic and traffic in case you don't know the the term traffic is oh wow that's a good looking car with smoke coming out the back of it um if you don't know what traffic is traffic is just um people traveling through life and they happen to either stop at your page or go right past your page they either come to your shop your brick and mortar store or they go right past it maybe they don't even know it exists they go right around it Maybe they see it, go, ooh, I don't like that, and go around it and miss it entirely. But the whole point is you want traffic, as much traffic as possible, to come into your page so that you can direct them to the call to action and they can be directed to action, be it volunteering, volunteering, or paying money, buying, booking using your services and not because you're just selling them junk but because you are giving them something that is going to solve a major problem in their life or it's going to dramatically improve their life in some way that's the whole point of the funnel you could even take the word sales out of this and just call it a funnel because that's all it is it's more a marketing funnel than anything and i want to encourage you to think in terms of marketing not selling
If you're, if you're marketing anything of any value, then it will sell itself. But marketing is all about directing attention. It's about directing attention to something that the right people want, that they will see in the right place, at the right time, the right product, the right offer, at the right price. That way, everybody gets what they want. Everybody wins. No one is being sold anything they don't want. Nobody's being sold junk. No one's having anything rammed down their throat. It's all, the whole point of this is everybody's a winner. Everybody's a winner when it comes to marketing. And along the way, you get creative. It's fun. It's really cool. But to get there, we just need to understand some of the basics to begin with, like how to move this thing. And I can't. I can't. It's too fiddly. I guess I can always do that. I know you're fascinated. Oh my god, I can't even move it. What is the problem here? No, not, not that way either. Right, you win. You win, program. You win. Allwop.com. You win. I'm not even going to play this game anymore. This psychological warfare you have going on with me. Okay, so let's move these down here because I do not know how to do it otherwise. And they keep getting smaller and smaller. In fact, let me do this. Move it up. Zoom in a little. Anyway, we know it's a funnel now. Let's get rid of that. That's that's part of my problem. Okay, so if we if we just jam people straight to this, then people like to buy. They like to buy things, but they don't like to be sold to. So we need another we need another way. We need another page before that. So we have something like a. Let me just duplicate this. Save these for later. So this could be a Facebook ad. Uh, and the ad might be on your Facebook page, or it might just be you're just advertising in the general um, news feed. <clears throat> it could be a text ad, it could be a Bing ad, it could be Yahoo, it could be Google, it could be a solo ad, it could be uh, an email you send out to your list, it doesn't matter. But the first time that anybody knows anything about this, oops, <laughs> really getting used to this, aren't I? Uh, the first time anybody knows anything about this is whatever this is. Okay, and this is going to slightly warm people up to send them to this. Okay, so we have the Facebook ad, and that's going to, or whatever the whatever it is, and it's going to direct people to the sales page. Now, in case we don't already know, the whole concept of a funnel is that people go. This is a funnel. People go from not knowing us at all to knowing us, but not knowing if they like us or not, to knowing that they like us, to not knowing if they trust us, to trusting us, to eventually purchasing or volunteering or whatever it is that, that we're asking them to do in this call to action. So we need them to Know, like, and trust, or we don't need them to, they need to know, like, and trust us before they will do anything else with us. And, you know, that's what this is about, and that's what this is about. Getting them to know, like, and trust us and our product and our service so that they will ultimately come through, go to this call to action, and take action. Pay, volunteer, whatever it is. I hope you can already start to see that if we want them to know, like, and trust us and go from not knowing us at all into the funnel all the way through that process, it's probably, we know ourselves well enough to know it's probably not going to go straight from here to here. And if it does, you go straight from Facebook to a sales page, it already feels a bit abrupt. So what we tend to do is we'll take them through what is called Black, I 
we go. What is called a here we go. Sorry. Get off the bench. Batter up. Uh. Uh. So this is called a squeeze page. Now I'll just give you an example of a squeeze page. In the money making niche, here's one. So this is one I built with my mentors who are in the money making niche. These guys make 40, 50 grand a month doing this, selling uh, products, doing product reviews, creating their own products, uh, selling them on uh, JVZoo and Warrior Forum, the Warrior Plus. <clears throat> and this is a very different style, obviously, to my other mentors who are uh, high ticket affiliate marketers. So you can totally see this is one of my pages that I built. And this is another one of my pages that I built. This one, uh, and this is what's called above the fold. Uh, both of them are above the fold. Squeeze pages should be above the fold. If you go to Fiverr and you look up landing pages, here's a bunch of examples of landing pages that people will build. What do you think the common uh, thread is here? What's the commonality of all of these? If I landed on a page, any of these, I do not need to scroll down anywhere to know what to do. Every one of these, I read it, I can put my email address in. I read it, I like the picture, I can shop now. I right, get the free transfer guide. I read it, I want to be part of the Insights Revolution, I put my email in. I read it, I go, wow, I'm going to get that fantastic book and that fantastic body. I can buy it on Amazon, or I can get my free tips and so on. So the idea of this of a squeeze page of the squeeze page is that it's effectively to make it more literal. It's called above the fold. Above the fold in newspaper terms means when a whole stack of newspapers are sitting down, we have no idea when we pick up that newspaper and we unfold it, we have no idea what's on the bottom half of that newspaper. We only know what's on the top because we can see it without touching it. You do not want on a squeeze page, you do not want anybody to have to scroll anywhere. You don't want them to have to scroll. You want them to land on that page and you want them to see everything they need to see to be interested enough to put their details in, uh, their email in and to submit see everything they need to see on one page without scrolling and to put their email in and to submit. Once they do, you're going to see that they're going to go. Say green. Going to get them from the Facebook ad to the squeeze page here or to here. Once they once they fill in their address there, once they do that, it's going to take them here. Now, one place, one example of a sales page might be this, which is my memorization uh, program. Now, once again, you can see it's a completely for a completely different crowd. You would not put this much text on a squeeze page. Of course, you're not going to. Who's going to hang around and read it? And you'd have to scroll if there was that much text. But once people get to the sales page, it's congruent with whatever the squeeze page was, but it tells you in only 10 days, you're going to radically improve your memory. You're going to remember all this stuff. It gives you a whole bunch of facts here, a bit of a story about what you can do in 10 days. It's a, a brainy picture. It's a brainy crowd. It's a, probably an educated crowd. Um, people who are very interested in this kind of thing. People that are interested in making money would not sit through all of that, right? <laughs> and that's a squeeze page and that leads them anyway to the sales page. And in this example, here's the sales page, which actually automatically plays a video. It's got uh, mysterious uh, music underneath it because it's a secret underground website and it can go longer and they can scroll because we got their interest initially with the squeeze page. So you see, 
you get their interest enough with the Facebook ad that they go to the squeeze page, then you get their interest enough with the squeeze page that they go to the sales page and that's the way that works. So rather than just creating a sales page and jamming people in the sales page, whether this is your product. So out of all of the people that are doing this, uh, this program at the moment, some people are doing coaching, some people are doing agency work, some people are doing affiliate, people are doing all sorts of different things. But if you understand the principles of this, you understand the principles of you are not selling, you are marketing because you want people to come through this funnel and come out the bottom taking an action of some kind. If you understand that principle, you understand what it's like when someone tries to jam you straight into the bottom of that funnel, which is this sales page here. So you don't want to do that to people, not because you're tricking them, but because you have something incredibly valuable that is going to change their life, improve their life, solve every problem, make them sleep better at night. And if you try and jam them into the bottom of that funnel, you're actually letting them down. That's the whole point of marketing. You're not selling anything. If you have a great service product, um, whatever it is that you are putting out there into the universe, you're doing it because you think it's awesome. You're doing it because you think it's going to be great for people. So it's not about selling. It's about marketing. It's not about tricking people. It's about guiding them toward what you believe they, are, they really need anyway. So if you understand those principles, then things are very simple. Now, there's one other page that we need to talk about um, that may come in handy at some point. And that page is called dun, 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 suspense. <laughs> the bridge page. So it's an example of a um, an example of a squeeze page. It's an example of a squeeze page. This is a sales page. So we've seen, you've all seen Facebook ads. Uh, I'll do a whole section on that too. Uh, but those are squeeze pages. That memory one is the sales page. But what's a bridge page? Well, I'll show you an example of a bridge page. So my mentors, uh, Stephen and Andrew here, this is their bridge page. This is their bridge page. They have a webinar that is going to show you how to sell without selling, how to make a six figure income online without selling anything. Effectively, you can travel the world and, um, and work as you go and do it from your phone. Like it's actually, it's incredibly straightforward. It's not simple, but it's um, straightforward. You can do it. And it gets rid of a lot of the problems out there that um, that you have when you're trying to make money online, right? So that's what they do. But they don't send you straight to their sales page. They have the next thing after this page, the case study, is a video. And that video, that free training, uh, is this video here. And it talks you through, it, it shows you, I don't want to you can have a look at it if you want to i'm not going to take up all of your time here explaining what they explain in the video anyway but this bridge page is important this is what this is how do you create a six-figure income uh, online business sorry this is their squeeze page their bridge page i click on this i don't know because i've already done it okay Great. Okay, great. So sorry, my bad. That was their squeeze page back there. And this is their bridge page. Their bridge page is training. This is what's called a lead magnet. So um, you can offer someone free training, you can offer them a free download, you can offer them 
uh, tips and pointers and all sorts of different things that are going to make their life better. And you're going to educate them on how to do search engine optimization online. Um, and then you're going to take them through this free training. And at the end, you're going to make them an offer. And that offer is then going to lead you to either booking a call or to a sales page. But that's going to be what it is at the end. They're going to be very, very close, if not completely, uh, to convert it. So this for them is their lead magnet. This video is their lead magnet. It's a 42 minute video that very, very well talks you through what they do and how they built a six figure um, business in, I believe, under 90 days. Um, and then when you click on this, you go onto their calendar and book a call with them. So I saw their ad. I landed on there squeeze page i jumped onto their lead magnet which is effectively a bridge page a bridge between um that squeeze page and booking a call with them or a sales page now for those of you out there that are doing affiliate marketing it's very different to if you're just selling a particular product because you can go from the Facebook ad to the squeeze page to the sales page, or you can go from a Facebook ad to the bridge page to a sales page, but you don't need all of these because affiliate marketers need to collect emails at the bottom of that. If I'm sending someone to your sales page, I want to go via either a squeeze page or a bridge page because I want to be able to collect your email address in here on my list. Once you get here, you're on someone else's list, but here or here, you want to be on my list, but you want to make sure that the audience is not having to put their email address in every step of the way, because if they do, they're going to quit. They're not going to want to do it. So if it's someone else's product, they may um, send them to a squeeze page or a bridge page straight into a um, sales page, but they only need to ask for their email address once. If you're selling somebody else's product or you're sending people to someone else's product or page, you want to create a squeeze page or a bridge page that's going to give them the opportunity to warm up to the fact that they're now going to go into the sales page. So as you see, sometimes you can go straight to here. And then here, sometimes you can go straight to here and then straight to here. It's probably up to you how well you know your audience. If you think you can go straight to there and straight to there, that's fine. But what you can't skip is collecting their email address. Otherwise, you send them straight from here to here and the company We'll get the sale and we'll get their email address and we'll continue to make money from that person for eternity and you make absolutely nothing from them. So you need at least one or two of these. And in some cases, you will want both of these, especially if it's a high ticket, meaning $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 more uh, product, you're going to want to really warm them up step them up before they get there and that's what happens in this is not high ticket so it takes you straight from here straight to the sales page so it goes straight from the squeeze page boom straight to the sales page this one uh, my funnel here isn't uh <clears throat> isn't complete yet but my squeeze page here theoretically should take people to my bridge page and then my bridge page my bridge page takes them to uh well strictly speaking my bridge page takes them to their bridge page and their bridge page takes them to their sales page but that's the case with uh with high ticket affiliate um, marketing is that you need to put your own uh your own little pages in between. Now, as a bridge page is only ever going to be seen 
by people who have opted into my squeeze page, I don't need to collect their email address at the bottom. Just don't need to because I already have it here. So what happens on the bridge page? It would probably be good if I had a video. Oops, if I have a video of myself loving the product, or this is testimonial of somebody else, or this is people actually for selling dog food. This is people actually playing with their dogs. The dog was unhealthy. Now the dogs are really healthy. Great. So we say, do you want a healthy dog? Do you want a healthy dog? Here is a dog that wasn't healthy and is now healthy. How? Well, you need to press this button to find out. So they take the ad, they go to the squeeze page. It says, do you want a healthy dog? They say, yeah, damn, I want a healthy dog. I've got to click that button. That button sends them to this bridge page. The bridge page is further evidence that there are ways to get a healthy dog, even if that dog was so sickly and now is really healthy and bouncing around. But to get that, you need to go down here. Then you press that button and then it takes you to the sales page. Now, can you see that if that's the case, in terms of O, oh, like, and trust, in terms of the funnel, not knowing us, to knowing us but not trusting us, to trusting us and taking action, volunteering, paying, buying, taking action. Can you see that we're really nurturing people here? There's an ad which in some way is appealing to them. It takes them to a squeeze page like this that is congruent with the field that we're in. Could be different for different, uh, different fields. They go to that squeeze page. The squeeze page then says, do you want to check it out? Great, go to the bridge page and maybe there's a video, maybe there's a, a case study, maybe there's a testimonial, maybe there's more information there that just fleshes more out about liking you and trusting you. When that's all done, we then go to the sales page and then on the sales page, we have a very clear call to action. And that call to action makes people, as I say, I volunteer, take an action of some kind. Is that clear? Now, it's probably not as clear as someone out there can make it, but that's as clear as I can make it right now. Whether it's a Facebook ad, a Bing ad, an email on your list, that's what we see first. Then we send people to, you want a happy dog? We send them to the squeeze page. That squeeze page is short to the point and above the fold. They don't need to scroll. And then that takes them to a bridge page. That bridge page is something that you may not need if um, like this, if they want to get straight to the product. Give me the product, give me the product. But if people are a little more meh, kind of wormy a little, well then you have a bridge page and this might be testimonials uh, people coming out of a movie. Oh my God, it was the most scary movie I've ever seen. And then you go, wow, yes, you click that button and boom, you end up on the sales page. You buy your tickets to the next Saw movie or something. If it's dog food, this might be a really lovely story about a dog who was uh, taken out of a shelter, who'd been abused and he wasn't eating. And then he found this perfect food and he ate it. He became big and strong and now he's a happy three-legged dog. And we click on that and we go, and we definitely want to buy this um, this food now, uh, the dog food now. This might be Facebook ad uh, says, hey, there's going to be a sausage sizzle at Home Depot on the weekend. It takes them to a squeeze page that says, if you want to hang out with the family on the weekend and have lots of fun and let us do the cooking for you, come along, put your details here. You put in your details, then it leads you to bridge page, which at this point you probably wouldn't need for that kind of an offer. You'd go straight to the sales page and that is book your, um, buy your sausages in advance or book your parking spot in advance or uh, whatever it is for that. And the bridge page, 
if you need it, you use it, but you generally use that for a more high ticket um, item because the more you're expecting people to pay, the more you are willing to go the distance with them to get them to know, like, and trust you along the way before they get to the point where you expect them to book a call or make a payment or volunteer or whatever it is. Now, the only thing that remains is when people sign up to your mailing list here, they then go on to what's called an autoresponder sequence, follow-up sequence. So these are emails that are automatically sent out, automatically sent out by GetResponse, MailChimp, Aweber, whatever it is that you use as your auditor, Kartra, whatever it is that you use for your autoresponders. Now you can see that these emails go out independent of whatever they do beyond this squeeze page. So you send them from the squeeze page to the bridge page to the sales page. But the whole point of having this squeeze page for you is that if you're sending them, for instance, as an affiliate to a product, or you're sending them as the business to this product, if they don't end up buying this product, you don't want to lose them. So that's why you have you early get them, get their opt in so that even if where you're sending them, they don't end up purchasing or following through. It doesn't matter because you've still got them now and they're on a list there. And remember, I say get them, um, get them to opt in. You've got them on the list. But remember, we're not selling anything here and we're not jamming anything down people's throats that they do not want. We are only giving value and we are only solving problems. Excuse me. <clears throat> we are improving lives and solving problems. It's about marketing and solving problems. Marketing is just drawing people's attention and getting them to see how great it is to actually solve these problems. Then the product solves the problem. The coaching solves the problem. The service solves the problem. <clears throat> so that's all we're doing. But you can see hopefully the value here of if you didn't have this call to action, people would go to the squeeze page, go to the bridge page, go to the sales page, and if they don't buy, you've lost them. But if they must pass through this gateway and the fare that they pay to get through the gate, the toll they pay is to give you their email address <clears throat> to opt in, and they can opt out at any point, then this gives you multiple opportunities to get them back here. Because you know when they get there, if you've got a great product and you've got a great video and you've got a great converting page, and you've got a great offer and a great price, and you've been targeting the right crowd, you know, a good crowd that's perfectly suited to this offer, then they're busy, they've missed it. Somehow they didn't get the email, it went to spam, whatever. But you want to be able to follow up and get them back into that bridge page sequence, part of the sequence, so that when they do, they're going to end up going back to the sales page, taking that, uh, making that call to action, and purchasing, volunteering, creating, doing that action, whatever it is. Okay, so probably went a bit longer than I thought it was going to, but hopefully that's uh, clear enough to you. If you have any questions, let me know.